Now to some in-depth coverage of the record Powerball jackpot. As of now, the top prize stands at an incredulous $1.5 billion. It could go even higher, though, before the winning numbers are drawn. And this morning, we're getting some interesting perspective from a numbers guy. Joining us live in studio this morning is Mike Breen from the American Mathematical Society. Good morning, Dan. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for joining us. All right, so let's first of all talk about uh, people's habits when the numbers start to go up high. Mm -hmm. They tend to buy more tickets. Does that actually do anything to increase their odds? Well, increases a little bit, but not enough to, to guarantee a win, that's for sure. Uh, if we were just talking about politics and the election. So you've got, a, if they just drew the names out of a hat, all the registered voters, you have a much better chance of, of being president that way than winning the jackpot. Yeah, how many registered voters are there? Well, you know, I would, I would say roughly 150 million, I think. And so the odds are better at that. You'd have actually twice a better chance of becoming president that way than uh, winning the lottery. And a lot of people I know go and buy quick picks, which, you know, allow the uh, machine to pick numbers at random. But for those who want to choose their numbers, you have a little bit of advice, right? <laughs> well, yeah. Yes, because people choose lower numbers because of birth dates uh, and maybe how old they are, their children's ages, whatever it might be. And so if, if you didn't want to split, uh, the, high, the higher number would be less likely to be picked by humans. All right, so you're saying that because most people do pick the lower numbers, yeah. so your chances of having to share the jackpot would be right. greater, right. I see. Okay. All right, so let me ask you this. Are you going to buy a ticket tonight? Uh, no, so I'm going to keep my $2 in my pocket and my many dollars, not my many dollars, my $2 <laughs> in my pocket. Uh, my wife does play, though. She likes to play, and but uh, we're still both working for a living. So you just feel that the odds just really are just too great to overcome? Yeah, they're, they're astronomical odds. There's like 290 million, one in 290 million chance, which is a uh, you know, pretty, pretty slim chance. Let me ask you this for a prediction. I mean, what do you think as far as the winner, if we have one tonight? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's more likely to be a group or a single person? I would say a group. More likely to be a group, yes. Uh, and uh, if they do win, I hope, the, I hope their lives turn out all right. Sometimes uh, the million-dollar winners don't uh, have good luck afterwards. Mm. If we, uh, you know, when you talk about uh, choices, too, if it were to be a single winner, you know, you'd bring, be bringing home, what, a $950 million jackpot. What would, if you took the prize uh, in the lump right. sum, mm -hmm. what would your advice be, though, annuity or the lump sum? Uh, well, I, well I, would, I would take the lump sum just because I would have it in my hand, I, 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 but I'm kind of a conservative person. Uh, and then another advice might be get an unlisted number, and, uh, but also I get my cell phone number. You know. Well, listen, <laughs> you're not, and your cell phone number, all right. And listen, because you came in today and shared your advice, if I win, mark the moment. I'll give you a mill. Excellent. Thank All you. Right? All right. I'll hold I mean, you to I'll that. I have enough to be able to share a little bit with you, Mike. <laughs> thank you very so. much. I hope you can deduct that if that happens. <laughs> Always think in the numbers. All right, All right. Mike, nice thank you so you. much Thanks. for joining us. And good luck. Uh, thank you very much. And remember that the drawing will be held at 1059 tonight, which you can see live on WPRI 12 right before Eyewitness News at 11.